Hey guys, smoke of wood in the woods on some wood. Head ass. Hey, but what's Gucci with y'all, man? Let's get it, man. We about to sparkle wood in the woods on some wood. Y'all already know how the fuck we rocking. Uh, let me put y'all right here. You know what I'm saying? Where'd I have y'all right now? I don't even know where I had y'all right now. To be honest, I think it was right here. All right, we Gucci. Fuck it. So, fuck. Um, I was looking at my court papers and shit, and it has a bunch of personal information, as in, like, shit that y'all not supposed to see, as in addresses and court lawyer numbers and stuff like that. It's just weird. So, look. I'm going to show y'all some proof on my phone that doesn't have to do with anything personal, as in something, you know, y'all not supposed to see. So, um... You go to Bell Books, there's an app called Bell Books. You could only get into this app with your code from the Bell's Bond people, which means you have to be out on bail. So anyway, it says next check date, 8. Hold on, let me clean this off for y'all real quick, man. Next checking date, 8-29-2018. My last payment was 8 second 2018 now I got out I got out on bail on the first, so they barely got the payment on the second. That's what that means, you know what I'm saying? Um look, I put ad check in when I need to check in, right? Um next court date, not affiliated, next payment not affiliated. They don't know nothing about that yet. Um but basically I gotta check in soon and of course if I didn't have to check in then I wouldn't be on bail, but I do have to check in because I'm out on bail. So that's enough proof for y'all, man. And of course, y'all get to see, like, if y'all follow my IG and Instagram, I did post the paperwork, you know what I'm saying, on the Instagram for all the people that know. But anyway, guys, let's spark up, and I'm about to talk about some music stuff, you know, while we're just chilling here. Oh, and also, they stopped selling the five packs uh, at my smoke shop, and they came up with these, which is really convenient to me because it's like, sometimes I don't need a whole five pack, right? Sometimes all I need is one, it's maybe even two, you know, so they have three a three pack and this three pack comes in a Ziploc I never seen woods with Ziplocs. It's called the fresh lock premium seal A lot of people were telling me. Oh, we only have the Ziploc ones over here I said damn where, where the fuck are y'all at? I want Ziploc ones finally got some Ziploc ones So it's a blessing they come really fresh. I give it that but I just try to roll this one really really fat And it just really didn't work out, but I'm gonna spark it this way Cause there's like a hole right here but yeah man um a lot of comments yesterday hey smoke a wood in the woods on some wood so guess what today today's title is gonna be smoke a wood oh thank god i thought i just stepped in some deer shit you know i got the brand new g phasos on you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get every g phaso out bro i'm trying to get the baby barf green ones with some baby barf green t-shirts or maybe some camel t-shirts you know make make that go go clean with it um also you know it's gonna match the money you know the green you know what i'm saying uh what else uh i've seen some other ones but like only the green ones look like stiff to me you know the green ones the black ones I already got the white ones they don't have the original white ones no more with the af ones on them i had to take my old af1 buckles off of those and i had to put them on the new af ones because they stopped giving the buckles for them which is kind of weird if you think about it but i just bought these well like yesterday before and like they came with the buckle on them but they're not the gold buckles, they're the silver buckles. And you know I'm all about gold and shit, you know, like, it's fucked up. But let's talk about this music. So I dropped, I gave y'all two little taste of the last songs yesterday, or yesterday before. And I just want to say that when I did that, I wasn't even trying, like, and a lot of y'all like this still, so I appreciate that. <laughs> <coughs> Let me show y'all another song I'm working on. <coughs> I'm going to give y'all a choice of four songs. Whichever four songs y'all pick, <coughs> that's the ones going to be doing a music video on. Now, as far as the audios, I might drop all four audios and see which one does the best. That's the one we're going to do the music video on. So y'all let me know what y'all think. This is like really, I'm really becoming a music artist now, you know. It used to be just YouTube, but now people are taking me serious as an artist. So I just want to respect, I just want to. 
respect it. Just want to thank y'all for that. Um, also, like, we're about to hit 200,000 views on my music video. I never thought we'll hit 100 fucking thousand views. To be honest, what I thought, to be honest, was going to hit 100K in probably like a month. Guess what? That shit hit 100K in six days. It's about to hit 200K in less than two weeks. That's grinding. I appreciate all y'all listening to the music. If y'all think that's good, I hope that y'all enjoy the next project coming out, you know? Y'all heard this one. Um, which one was it? The uh, This one. Can you stand the rain? Always introduce the pain. I'm addicted cocaine. Ever since ain't been the same. I ain't fucking with them lames and I ain't fucking with them snakes. You say that I'm a bitch, well I'll tell you up in your face. Surrounded great walls, only trying to beat this case. Knew one day I was gon' make it. It's the chances that I take. It's the people that believed in me. What you see in me? On the road to success, GPS be leading me. What's bleeding be? What's cracking? Cuz what's crowning king? I just want designer things. Smoking Colorado Springs. Control my plays. Don't need no strings, double cup is full of lean I be chilling with the team, I think I had too much to drink Let it get the best of me, run up on me, catch the beam Turn this to a murder scene, I'm chasing dreams just like I'm meek I'll never fold, just have a seat, that bitch up off the ecstasy I swear she won't stop texting me, she knowing all my ABCs Ah, grinding boy Fucking love it, man. I love it. Fuck the police. Nah, I'm just fucking. Joking. Not our police. Like, not our police is bad. You know what I'm saying? It's just the people that are out there doing bad. Those are the people I'm saying fuck the police too. But there is some people, like police out there, that do help people. So I appreciate that. All the good police out there, y'all know who y'all are, and I respect y'all for the most part. But once y'all start doing some stupid shit, I lose all respect and all hope for the justice system, you know? But Jesus says, Jesus says in the book of the Bible, he says to respect your further authorities, to respect other people's authorities. Even though if it's wrong, you know that you're doing right and you know that you stand by Jesus. So Jesus will bless you for that. If you suffer in a cell and you know you did nothing wrong, just abide by it. Just abide by it, you know what I'm saying? Because Jesus will get you, you know what I'm saying? Jesus will put you in the right position. Uh, that's how I kind of feel. That's how I kind of feel when I was locked up. I was kind of in there for a really dumb thing, like probation violation, and I'm doing six to nine months for probation violation. And I think I'm hearing people doing six to nine months for shooting at cops and driving in the stolen vehicles and stuff. So I'm here thinking, like, wow, I just violated probation, and I'm in a placement facility where everybody else is going. They were trying to send me to TYC, which is called the Texas Youth Center, which is just like the placement facility, except it's like just a bunch of more older older people, I guess. So what ended up happening was I had no felonies, so they were like, bro, we, he's not eligible for TYC. We got to send him to the placement facility. Placement facility is even worse because TYC, you could do time. Plus, when you're in juvenile, they add that time to your original sentence. Now, when you're going to placement, I waited two months dead time just to go and start my time at the placement facility. Now, when I used that two months, I used those two months in juvenile to think, how am I going to beat this program? How am I going to get out the fastest way I possible? What I ended up doing was sticking to myself. A bunch of fights were gonna pop off, but guess what? I stayed true and humble, and I did not fight nobody. A lot of people thought they were punking me out and shit, but I knew my plan. I told them I was gonna be a successful artist one day. My counselor that was in there, if she's watching this video, which I hope she is, I just wanna say that you bad as fuck. Like, no disrespect, but like, that's the one woman that I would fucking marry, you know what I'm saying? My counselor, bro, you know who, she knows who she is, man. Well, she bad as fuck, right? I was talking to her every day. I was telling her, look, I'm going to come up. I'm going to be on the radio. Next time you hear me, it's just going to be on the radio or on the news. And it's going to be for a good reason. You know what I'm saying? And she's like, I hope so. I hope so. Like, yes, you. Like, I'm going to prove everybody wrong. Everybody that doubted me. Everybody that told me to shut up. Guess what? I get paid off talking now. I get paid for this shit. People wish they could get paid for this shit. You know what I'm saying? I used to make five cents a video. 
Now I'm making like minimum 50 bucks a video, like, pfft. And then who knows in the future, you know, we gonna get like five bills a video, motherfucking five stacks a video. Then what? They can't tell me nothing. Nada. Nada. All right, so let me let me show y'all redo that. Let me redo the songs I did for y'all. Wait, did y'all just hear me rap over that beat without the without it this loud? Hold up, real quick. Hold up. Maybe y'all can hear it better this time. Hey, this wood's blowing though. Can you stand the rain? Always introduce the pain. I'm addicted cocaine. Ever since ain't been the same. I ain't fucking with them lames and I ain't fucking with them snakes. You say that I'm a bitch while well, I tell you up in your face. Surrounded gray walls, only trying to beat this case. New and that was gonna make it. It's the chances that I take. Woo. I'ma just chill out, my, my bad guys. Smoking this wood, trying to rap. You know what I'm saying? Losing my breath. It's hot as fuck out here, if y'all didn't know. Let me show y'all what, what, what's the weather out here in Texas right now. Um, say, son, I don't fuck with them rattlesnakes, son. You could miss me with that shit. Hey, it's only um, 91 right now. It's only 91 right now, and I'm just, like, dying already. But it might be 91 on my phone because, you know, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I don't know how this tells temperature. I don't fucking know. You dig? But yeah, man, new music on the way. Um, a lot of people were like, oh, who's the number one artist? And some people were even saying that I'm top four. Like, no, guys, let me explain to y'all how this rap shit works. The person who sells more albums, the person who sells more or gets more plays is considered to be up there, you know? So let's say the number one rapper sells 50,000 al album, uh, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? 50,000 plays or whatever. Um, let me say let me say it like this. Let's say the number one rapper sells 50,000 records. Number two rapper sells 30,000 records. That's why... And then number three sells like 15,000 records. And so on, you know? And so basically, how I come down to it... Damn! <coughs> Trying to get the bird high so we can shut the fuck up. But anyway, so basically I come down to YouTube. <coughs> it comes down to YouTube. You look at how many plays this person has. So let's say this person has, four weeks ago, 400,000 plays. Now this person has, from two months ago, not even 100,000 plays. But he was first and that was second, right? Now someone comes out of nowhere and gets 180,000 plays in less than two weeks. Now that boy passed the second one, and now he's aiming for the third one, but it's only possible through hard work. So maybe by his next project, he'll be able to hit those numbers that he couldn't hit. Or maybe in the future, he'll be able to hit consistent numbers like that, which is a million views and stuff like that. So let's say he's getting a mil, a mil, a mil. You got to compete. To call yourself number one, you got to make sure no one's passed you up in views. Neither in um, likes. Either either way, you're still getting passed up. If you get passed up in likes, you're still getting like passed up. Because you got passed up in likes, you know, I'm passed up. So basically what comes down, it comes down to I beat the likes. It's not a competition, but well, it kind of is. But I just, I just want to see myself one day as the number one rapper of San Antonio. That's all. That's all I want. Like... That's my dream. When I woke up one day and I realized what my dream was, that was my dream. For the whole San Antonio, because I, I, don't, I don't travel. I don't know a lot of people out of states, but y'all, you know, my fans and my, my peoples and stuff, you know. But, like, as far as me growing up somewhere out of state, that, that's not me. I stayed in San Antonio my whole life. 
Like I love San Antonio. Um, the crazy part about it is, it's just like my dreams are actually coming true. Like I'm almost there. I'm right, right there. You know what I'm saying? I know San Antonio is not the biggest. San Antonio is not like Chicago. It's not like New York, where you know, like we got a bunch of rappers, but like I'm trying my hardest, you know, and like. A lot of y'all respect me, a lot of y'all like put in that work and share my videos and I respect that to, to y'all, you know what I'm saying, I try to show my love back. A lot of y'all DM me, I'm trying to get to y'all back, but like I'm telling y'all, it gets hard when you get famous, it gets hard when you start to get famous. Everybody starts hitting you up, even old friends you haven't heard from in years, they hit you up and they talk about some, oh what's up, yada yada, but like bro, like where you at when I was on my ass, you know what I'm saying, where you at when I was in my cell getting no bail. No bail, no mail, matter of fact. I ain't get no fucking letters from nobody. The whole six and a half months I was there, well, in that placement facility, I didn't get no letters. When I was in juvenile, I didn't get no letters. You know what I'm saying? I hope things change now. I hope that y'all can find a way just to get my stuff out there. I'll put in my information on online. Y'all just better write me because everybody that didn't write me, I came back out and I realized why they didn't write me because they didn't give a shit about me. None of them did, you know? And y'all wonder why I don't have a bunch of friends and shit. Like, I used to have a lot of fucking homies. I used to be, like, on the block with a bunch of homies and shit, right? <sighs> homies started being crazy. Homies started switching up. Homies started plotting. That's the shit I don't need right now. You keep your circle small. That way you could pick out, choose from four. Which one of y'all niggas did this shit? It's only four of y'all. It was one of y'all. Boom. It's five of us. You know what I'm saying? Boom. It's six of us. Boom. It's 20 of us. And next thing you know, it's a thousand of you and you don't even know what the fuck is going on. Who's plotting on you? When or what's going to happen? So you got to make sure you keep your circle small, tight. Like, you could always have friends and shit, but just make sure you know who you're calling a friend. Because I remember people used to call me a friend, but deep down I wasn't their friend. And I admit that shit. And it's not like I, I acted like their friend either. It's just... The way we grew up, it's like people trust too much, and that's why they end up getting robbed and fucked off. Now, I had to experience that the hard way. You know, people are like, oh, why does he talk like he's been robbed uh, like four fucking times? I've been tried about four times, five times. I've been had to done some shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is not... The game out here is not nothing to joke about, you know? Like, there's only one life, and that's the one you're living. This is not no fucking game where you could get up when you're dead and start a new life or like have extra lives like a game. This is not no game. People don't realize that, you know, when people kill somebody, they think they're going to get away with it. And then when they don't, that's when life hits them. That's when life's like, oh, man, I got a murder case. And then they go in 40 to life. Now, next thing you know, they commit suicide. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? But, um... It's a crazy game out here, man. You know, like I said, it's a crazy game. We don't need no tokens. Don't fuck with lanes. They pockets be broken. My hitters be right around choking on potent. I swear that we floating. Don't know where I'm going. Don't know where I'm going. Basically, man, everything I'm going to talk about in my rap toward toward y'all. Like, if y'all don't believe, like, oh, he ain't about it. He ain't about it. I ain't out here running up on people and trying to murk them. I'll give it that. I'm not out here doing that shit. And... The reason why is because I got too much to lose. Look what I'm doing in life, you know? I'm pursuing my 